Well, it's a really sunny day here in uh, Lisbon, and we're in the second day of uh, Powering a New Future, which is uh, part of the uh, equal program. In fact, it's, uh, the event is the culmination of uh, eight years of work of the European Equal Program. And Bev Train and I and others are doing some social reporting, so I'll just uh, show you what it's like in here. Enormous uh, venue with uh, some very cleverly designed uh, spaces for people to chat and uh, hold little workshops. And um, over here we've got the uh, press and social reporting desk where we've got uh, good connectivity, electricity and here's my co-social reporter Bev. How's it going Bev? Fine, what are you up to? Well I was just giving people a kind of introduction to uh, the venue so I could put <coughs> something up on, on my blog uh -huh. and uh, Ben Metz has uh, dropped in to and steal your uh, bandwidth. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. And we have Etienne Wenger here as well, who is uh, going to be doing a session quite shortly. And over here, Richard Jolly is uh, processing loads and loads of video. Tell me what you're up to, Richard. I am putting out all of the knowledge that's been generated in this conference in so far as we can. Excuse me, I have to stop this. And uh, putting that onto a website and also showing it uh, in the, the hall, in the auditoria, while there are no uh, sessions going on. And so we're trying to distill all the information that we can gather through shooting interviews and make it available uh, publicly. Great. Well, <clears throat> Richard's been doing all of that uh, capture work. You've seen? Another social reporter here. Say hello. This is just one for my blog. So how are you uh, finding the conference and the idea of social reporting? You've done well, some of that before, though. That's right. No, I find it a very intriguing idea. I find it especially uh, interesting how the people who are not used to being in the spotlight can actually get their stories out. I just interviewed a group of youngsters from... Uh, uh, well, uh, a suburb of Lisbon, and uh, they were excited to, to, to get their story out, so that's nice. Great. Well, it's very quiet here, but I think that's probably because it's lunchtime. Bev, just finally, tell us about lunch in Portugal. Lunch in Portugal is big. <laughs> serious. <laughs> it's a serious event, yes, and one you should have if you want to make friends and speak business. Oh, we'd better go and have some lunch. <laughs>